Ramon Colias with aces. It was three bet to 180. Kuhn with pocket nines made the raise. Nunley came along with King 10 suited. And a little shorter than I'd want to be if I was, uh, you know, trying to set mine for that extra nine there. But we're going to the streets. Oh, oh nine. my gosh. Oh, my goodness. That sound you hear. Our ace is cracking for Ramon Colias. And just 28 big lines left. In the scenic nature of it, too. So a flop set for Kuhn. He checks it over to Colias with the aces. And on this is just a very wet texture. Um, we're going to see a lot of chips go in now. There's no way to slow play a hand like aces on a board like this. Might be suspicious. Right. Because right now, if you jam, your range includes uh, a lot of different draws that Cleus can... Oh, he just oh. called. This is... Interesting. Yeah. I think the flag's already raised in the mind of yeah, Cleus. The, <laughs> the biggest brick of all time. Um, there were some action-killing cards. We see that Cleus has ace of diamonds, so he's he would have been willing to get it in on right. some of those scary right. turn cards. I but do. yeah, it's a good Kuhn's one. just I think playing after, I think after super passively, giving the rope to Cleus, keeping like all the bluffs in his range. If he did have a hand like ace-king, ace-jack. Wow. I get the vibe that Cleus is not sold his aces are like best. <laughs> I don't know why. Just looking at him. Oh, my oh goodness. My <laughs> A no river way. ace for Cleus to steal this hand back. Wow, and Cleus has only... That's interesting. A little more than half pot left. But he's afraid, I think, of scaring off Kuhn, maybe? He wants to get... Him. There you go. And a call. Oh, what a cooler. So sick. Oh, for wow. Chan Kuhn to see that come. There was no way, as you mentioned, anybody folding. The hand just played out slower than it would have. He likes not to do so. Yeah, right. Chan, yeah, I this take is the only hand one off. that excites me. Literally Aww. walk, walk <laughs> the floor. This is something that's changed, though, um, over the last few years. There's a lot more big blind defense on short stacks. <laughs> that's a nice flop. I don't think I'll take can. my equity. I don't, I don't think I'll ever for pull. Just right, wait for this one for again. 20K, 30K. How can I go Gut shot to the nuts, two overcards, backdoor no. hearts. So I think I should run very Pair draws. Just, that's yeah, all. Yeah. You know. <laughs> that's that's crazy, right? That's the good idea. <laughs> I want to get it in here. So the stop and go is pretty cool. It's just you catch so much of this. Maybe this is a, a spot to just stop and stop, let your opponent bet, and you so call. Are you a four-time player, or are you just... Um, you don't want to scare something away if Bauman opened a hand like sixes or something. You don't want her to be able to fold, so check there's, calling all in is better there's here. There's the stop, and there's the go. Back to back. Jacks up for Kuhn, a draw for Bowman. I feel a little bit sweat for you. An unhappy camper. Double up to him, we're 375. Gail could use those chips. See the outs for her up there, the Queens. Not. A great history at the main event with Queens. So how many years have you played <laughs> She got knocked out 10. Oh! Oh, wow. <laughs> oh. And Chan cannot believe his luck okay. at this feature table as he starts to pack up. Now a jack or a nine for the boat for Chan Kuhn to keep his main event hopes alive. Dale takes it in stride. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. Bang, bang. Top pair for Nudley on the flop, but it was top. It was a middle set for Zhang. Yeah, if you're new to poker and you're watching this coverage, sets are not this easy to make. This is actual live poker. <laughs> Nudley checks Zhang. 435. Two pretty even stacks here for now, but not when this hand's done. Call. Mm. Monster pot. Yeah, two over 100 big blind stacks going at it right now. Zhang was the three better with his 10 free flop, maintaining the initiative in the hand. Shank's best. So 
Zhang ever go for it all? With an overbet. Could overbet Jam here. Make it look like missed hearts. After the river, I'm so relaxed. He said, after the river, I'm so relaxed. I'll be honest to you, I have no idea what you have. This hand, I have no idea what you have. He loves to so talk. Weird. King A, that means a lot of sense to him. King of heart means a lot of sense to him. <laughs> I, I, I can't read the sand. The sand is kind of tough. Oh, do you mind I'm talking? Or uh, you, I don't I, mind. I, okay. I checked. Yeah, if you mind, I'll just, I'll just quiet. It's a feature table. Just give me some time. Exactly 10 minutes of the hand. OK. Did you see the hand took 10 minutes? You don't, you don't need to call clock. I'll, I'll decide like in 20, 20 seconds. Okay. All right. With, with a set yeah, here. Yeah, I finished my decide. It's, it um, just feels like he's playing with his prey before he eats uh, it. It certainly is. It's a quick bit. Okay. <laughs> We're watching him just put more and more chips in this pile, wanting to throw bit. up. You're like, stop adding chips. We're good. Exactly. <laughs> I call the front line. Don't call okay. the back line. Yeah. I'm feeling Nunley's pain right now because this is just so weird. Plus 300. Yes. Plus 300. That's what I. The hand has taken about 10 minutes total. Oh wow. And Nunley yeah. is is just aghast at what's going on here. Okay. Tournament director's nightmare what is here too. Happening. I think that's what I did. I think that's right. <laughs> He's figured out the exact amount. We have no idea how I'm much it is. I'm definitely going to want to count for that. I don't even know how much of that. You didn't count that out? Oh, it's just, that's I guess, king of, uh, That king of hearts being exposed is like. Yeah, right. That's what I'm talking about. The car is, um, I don't know. I know you, you don't mean to do that. I know you fall safely. He just saw it luckily, I think. Well, I saw the eight of diamonds. And yeah, yeah, no. Both. Right now, I don't know. I, I still don't know what you have, but. It's like we've got to count I, I just almost 1.5 million. It's not angle million. play. I'm not angle talking. I'm just this hand. I don't know what you have. Like exactly, I don't know what you have. Okay. I just turn the decide to you. Back to you. You know what I mean? It's on your term. You decide to yeah, I know. do whatever you want. Can I have like two minutes? Is that cool? Sorry, I, it's a big part. Different. Different. Uh, now it's different. I know. I know. It's okay to clock clock. It's okay. It's one. Is what was it? Now it's okay to clock clock. <laughs> He's playing kind of like a confused Jamie Gold role. Yeah, you're right about that. Excellent. <laughs> Every time after I make a decision, I'm, I feel so relaxed. Because I know the thing going to happen next, I can't control. I just do my do my part of the job. Best acting job since 2006. I don't mean to take that long time. I am just decided to, what should I do on the river? It's, it's either. Two ways. All right, let Nunley make his decision. It's a pretty big bet, right? It is a pretty big bet. That's why I take that long. I think you, you know. I think I, I wasn't just talking and like uh, thinking nothing, wasting time. I was thinking, you know, the size. You love pocket fives. What? You love pocket fives. You said. Pretty pocket close. fives is a different situation. If you want to know, I'll talk to you to you after this. Okay. Can't have. Less combo ace. I'm not gonna make this call. Good hand. Nice. Nice hold. It's Let's really nice to be on a live stream for this. You're in the Because the curiosity might get to me, but you, you'll know soon. Oh, I gotta see it, I guess. I think you got ace queen. I do have ace queen. Yeah, I put you on ace queen. You can't call with ace queen. That's easy. This, Queens against aces. This unlike, table has been yes. so crazy. We've really barely has. been able to see the other features at all. We go for a quarter of a hand and come back. Exactly. So Nunley with the Rays, Gullius with the Aces and the three bet. One queen dead and most in hand. Nunley has Gullius covered as we begin this hand. And no real tanking, just a call. Oh, oh wow. My, one queen. outer. Oh my goodness, Gullius crushed again. 
to be honest, the, the the speed at which Nully decided just to flat, I I don't think he has queens. If I'm the opponent, I go, okay, like this looks like an ace-queen kind of hand. Like maybe he has something like tens where it's a snap decision. You go, yeah, I'm always going to set mine here. But wow, I mean, dirty, dirty, dirty. Achilles is going to lose a lot of chips here. he extricate himself again. He was in this exact situation when his opponent, he had aces, flopped. A set, and then Kalias hit the yeah, ace on the end. It's going to take another ace for him to extricate himself uh, no, no, from this one. Or a five yeah, now. Or five now, yeah. Uh, travel here, yeah. 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 Again, Kalias with the shorter of the two stacks. Have to be wondering how strong is my opponent's hand? I have two aces. It makes ace queen a little bit unlikely. So what do I charge if I'm putting tens and jacks in Nunley's range? And he does go for a much, a, a small size. Pretty small, yeah. He wants those tens and jacks to hang, hang on here. 285. Possible king queen suited in there. And the 700,000. Kalias now, uh, excuse me, Nunley now, uh, Facing a really, it's a really wet board, but he does just make the call. Kalias needing help and needing it right now. It's not going to do it. Nope. Checks again. We see Kalias has aces, so he's going to be getting his stack in anyway, but goes all in. And there's the quick call. And Nunley with the bigger stack and the set of queens. It was so cool. Ramon Colias out of the main event holding pocket aces. Yeah, so you can let some of those um, closer spots go. Wow, a lot of clubs finding their way to this board. Zhang finds a six as well. Just how fast does Zhang want to play a hand like this? Eight high flush draw with a pair. Had to feel pretty good about it. He's cutting out more than just calling chips. If you're Barfield, you're very deep stacked right now. You, you're not trying to get in, uh, what is it, 110 big blinds on this flop with just the nut flush draw. It's funny because at different stages of the tournament, you're happy to. If you're sitting there with 30 big blinds, you're like, let's go. You might even get it in versus a worse flush draw. But here where they're so deep, he's in position. He's going to be able to just flat and see if he can improve. And he does improve. He's not going to mm. feel like that's the best. No, card but deck, it is but the best. See that it's, yeah. it's a great card for Barfield's hand. It also improves Zhang to an open ender now. In case there wasn't enough action. Right. Zhang may feel his six is best and barrel ahead that way. Check raising a somewhat snug opponent, getting action. There we go with the inventory. Yeah, it's like tough to know. Red chips, green chips, then the lavender chips. Oh, no lavender. We are just going to build a huge pot here, not pumping the brakes at all. 440. Good. This is just so interesting because let's say neither of them improves oh and the river is a red deuce. The way Zhang has played this hand, he's going to win. Barfield's just not going to 
He's not going to be here hero man. calling with third Welcome pair in a pot this big yeah, um, so much. <laughs> for so much we of his chips. The AC for next so year. so it's actually how, Barfield the, looking for outs. You're yeah, saying. exactly. Yeah. Even though he's ahead, he is looking for outs. It just shows the power of aggression, too, how Zhang got so many chips. Look how easy it is to put in 400 to 40,000. <laughs> Unless you do it the Zhang way, and there's like <laughs> 74 red chips. So it's been Zhang style to just keep barreling. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't be surprised if he continued barreling through this card. It gets a little bit dicey, though, and the obvious straight comes in. But he's reaching. You're not going to see him knuckle. You know, if those are the small chips, this is going to be big. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's always just like a sprinkling of purple chips on top. <laughs> no, it's it's deliberate. It's it's absolutely, when you watch this being done and you're being bet into, it's going, is that much? Oh, no, it's oh, this yeah, much. Is that much? Is this up. much? Yeah. Um, and man, All is lavender. look how pure Zhang is running. A club decimates his deck. The way that he's been playing, yep. he just builds massive pots. That that could have been it. He could have doubled Barfield up. But the way this board has run out, he's he's very likely to win a huge Maybe pot. For the ages, I think. <laughs> Big gulp and shift in his seat for Barfield. I find it hard to believe that Barfield is really considering a call here. It's This board is so terrible for your hand. And the fact that you have two clubs in your hand makes it less likely that your opponent was on the club draw. And it would be some kind of hero call. What do you got, man? Zhang making waves. You want to talk to me? Yeah, yeah. Of course. I think uh, normally I'll talk to you, but... My friend just told me, he said, hey, you showed too many bluffs to the, on, the, on the future table. You showed bluffs? Yeah, yesterday I showed every hand. He said, hey, no, don't show any bluffs. I, I say, okay, I promise him. Yeah, yeah. And he say, it's okay, my style is talking. He say, uh, I know your style is talking, but when it's a very big pop, he advised me, don't talk that much. Don't no talk as much, yeah. So I think that the size of pop, I'll let you think I'll just be quiet. I, I finished my job already, so it's on you. Yeah, yeah. Well, if he said he finished his job already and it's on you, you should just shove. His job's done. He can't put more chips oh, in, right? Job's done, yeah. Job's over. One more time, the total. Half of Barfield's remaining stack. If he, if he sniffs this out and calls, it's absolutely incredible. I. It's a big pot, isn't it? Just like I say, you need to think uh, longer. Just like him. It's a, it is a big pot. And I'll uh, just shut up. It's hard to put Zhang on natural bluffs. In this hand, you're holding the nut flush draw that did not come through. It's not very good for me, the last couple cards. Not very good. He recognizes that. You like him? 10 8, you like the 10 got Sorry, there. I, I paused missed my turn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The natural bluffs have made pairs or straights, so anything on the flop that you were trying to Friends represent. Got good advice. Barfield still wants a call. This is what's crazy. Is that? It does. And it's because Zhang can have unnatural bluffs. <laughs> he has ones that don't make sense. He just decides gonna, for the I'm heck of it. I'm going to fold this one because I think there's going to be wow. a better spot. Wow, Zhang it. gets it yeah, through. Okay. Better spot. I'll pull you on Jacks. I saw you slow play Jacks trapping me all day. Oh, that's, that's close. Zhang, 7-6 of diamonds and running into kings. He's going to get a little pushback here. 
the most in. Clayton does raise. 260, is that what he said? I think so. Okay. And finally, Zhang's running into something. <laughs> it's yeah, been a exactly. long time. A lot of people playing passively against him. Oh, wow. Queens for Rob Welch. Bit of a brutal wake up here. As you gotta think that, you know, Zhang opens a lot of hands. Moses in can be light. Queen's right to be the best hand, but a very, very cautious just call. Decides not to four bet, get it in versus most in 1.1 million or so. Should be totally reasonable. Only about 26 big blinds at this point. Losing queens to kings is pretty standard there. You're not going to be trying to find a fold. Is he thinking they must have big cards? I have little cards. I can still <laughs> win this. I don't know what his thought process is. <laughs> I know that's been I, the I problem. Think, you know, he. Yeah, he's thinking something. Is this a four bet kind of thought? Because it's going to go very poorly for him. It would. Would not be the hand selection I would choose for a four bet. You're going to want to have some blockers an ace or a king, and I think he thinks better of it. He's going to call, though. We're going to speculate with our 7-6 suit. Let's see how good he's really running. Can he crack kings and queens? His diamonds are very live. It's going to be fun. 840 in the middle. Good start. <laughs> wow, 6 seven, eight, nine. Not only a good start because he's open-ended, but because that ace may freeze kings and queens from wanting to put chips in this pot. And Zhang might be able to peel a free turn card. Check to the razor. Hmm? Hmm? Queens with the quick check. Would expect Zhang to check. And Mosin was the three better. Gonna let him decide what to do with his kings here. Yes, check. Checks as well. Zhang now. With the pair to go with is an open, open ender. Start the motor. Maybe if he reads this as as weakness, the fact that it checks all the way around, he thinks that no, neither player has an ace. Which would be a reasonable deduction based on this flop being so wet. Oh, ace, nine, go. eight, two hearts. You have to worry about straight draws and flush <laughs> draws. Oh my gosh, he's a poker circus all wrapped up in one person. 400. His piles are gone. They've been colored up, but it yeah. has not affected his mojo. Oh, wow. You just feel sick. I hate sick. to give up the kings, and he does. And now Welch, who checked it over. Uh. <laughs> Can this happen? Is this happening? I mean, it probably this is happening. Yes. Yeah, this is a series of Twilight Zone. Rose spot for Queens. A tiny bit easier of a spot than Kings had as you're closing the action. So if you want to get sticky, you have no one to act behind here. you. He's not convinced. For good I reason. I was thinking he was going to be the little stickier one. It was tougher in Mosden's spot when he's holding two Kings, but he also has Welch who flatted the three bet from the big blind to act behind him. A little easier to get sticky if you're Welsh, but I understand completely if he lets these queens go. His board is gross. You have an opponent who never takes his foot off the gas pedal, so you can make a hero call here and then face an all-in on the river. So it's very tough to put these chips in, and I expect him to make a fold. There it is! Shang <laughs> makes it happen! That's it. Only one hand I lost. King Jack hearts, no more. You never calling with the King Nine hearts that position. Inside the mind of a genius. So if I only lose to one hand, I think I'm barely better there. <laughs> He's doing everything right. He's doing everything right. 
Oh, you're gonna the deck now. today. I can't. <laughs> yeah. you know? play, play, never a there are some yeah. lineups that would be insanely yeah. tilted at Zhang. That's These fun. people are all really good sports. Oh, they really are, and they, they really haven't said much to him. You know, knock it off. I mean, there's again, there are no A-list players out there to keep him in line. Uh, if you want to put it back, just go to dinner and. Refuel. And I don't know, maybe he doesn't do this with the... Uh, After this. I don't know, he guys, got the best of Dan him. Smith yesterday, but Dan Smith, I mean, oh, the run out was gross, though. It was a yeah. four-line run out. Um, 200, 200, but yeah, he was he was kind of stepping out, even with Dan Smith at his table. Mm. Good point. And, yeah, I need a hand. and this is an act... Pick up some lines. I mean, it's the way he plays, but it is an act lost half that is back. not new to him. Can't bluff anymore, everybody knows, so... So sick. I want to do it. So sick. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's try one more time. Is Pickett going to be able to pick off this bluff? It's, it's going to put out 300. A tall order when Zhang is really the only one who can have a straight here. I mean, button raise, though. His range is wide, too. You want this color? Do you want this? As he said. Oh, you didn't snap call it. Yes. Uncomfortable think, situation to be in with two red kings. At some point, do you just look at your opponent and go, your bluffing frequency is 80%. <laughs> like, you just are always trying to win pots like this when boards run out. In, in such a gross way, he is trying to pick off every single one of these pots. And every other Some player going, point. call him, take one for the team. Yeah. <laughs> we want to hear a call, raise your hand. We have a club here. You see that three gentlemen over there? <laughs> check, check, flop. Call one blind. What? Bet one, blind. one big blind. Oh, on and he folded the kings with the ace on the board with those four liners. And he shows it, again. <laughs> Proceeded to get his identity stolen multiple times. That's very funny. Yeah, you, I mean, you know, Oops. you have to be careful. Welch defends here. Heads up the eight, nine, two overs to the two sevens, but no improvement on the ace ace trade board. And Zhang, of course, we know is always going to ask questions. Nice sizing from Zhang, by the way. Comes with one big, and for Welch. Seven still strong against the range of Zhang, but of course, discomfort can lurk, barring a seven. See how much pressure Zhang applies here. King of spades on the turn. Spadeless is Welch. Can't say the same for Zhang, who has picked up the flush draw. Second check from Rob. Very nice here from Aaron, 165. In all likelihood, we'll do it against the Spadeless Sevens. Nice awareness of hands that lurk other than the ace or the flush. For Welsh, that is. Nice hand. Remember this board. Queen high. Ah, ha, ha, ha. And we find aces. Three betting the Zhang open. And oh my. Aces belong to Nick Ramsey. Zhang coming along and flopping a seven on a 997 board. Nick Ramsey, yet another Briton here, making a deep run. 119,000 plus. In Recorded caches for the sales rep. A couple of them happening here at the World Series. Don't have a whole lot of added information. Here's Zhang, by the way, you know, it's <laughs> instant. Instant sorted. Oh, here we go. Wow. What a spot for Ramsey. Uh, yeah, he's got a snap call, and obviously he'll be quite relieved not to be up against a nine as he shows the aces. And you see Zhang just, okay, yeah, sure, let's go. 
Well, you can certainly afford it. 3.25 out there. What a sweat for Ramsey. <laughs> I think he would say eight. Oh, six, look seven, at this. Eight. Eight. No, no, no. Six, seven, sorry. Eight. He wants an eight. Now. I'm still thinking on boss. Six on the turn, and Zhang now doubles his outs to four. You still, you're still tapping your hands right now? <laughs> well, we'll see. The yes. river is clean. Yes, the queen Come of on. clubs giving Ramsey the double. Now? Right. Nines for Ramsey here. 115 to go. <clears throat> uh oh. Doc's got the medicine. Indeed, he does, Holly. And he's going to be putting some tussin on it. Oh. Lavender. Trouble. No for Nunley. Right. Two, stacks of green. Two queens in the small blind. A raise and a three bet in front of him. The good news, he's got these boys well covered. He has them well covered, but it's precarious. Cutting out a four bet. Barfield with just north of 30 bigs. Note, by the way, that Ramsey's nines should crumble. Owen. We raised Owen. There's the jam. There's the flick for the pure on day five. A 3.25 million chip pot. And uh oh. I have clubs. Five, six, seven of clubs gives Nunley two pulls at a flush. Here we are. Oh, oh it is a, you know, four clubs. Four clubs. Four clubs. Four clubs. Deflating, Ollie. Barfield needs the four clubs to chop. And instead, it is the eight of hearts. GG Doc. He's in, Ollie. Here okay. we are. 120 to go. And an eight in the window, followed by another one. The only relief for the two kings, of course, will be the fact that the ace of diamonds accompanies those black snowmen. That's right, Ali. A deterrent to continuation from Pickett, who... Cutting out something quite small. Thing coupled with his reputation that could certainly see Pickett looking to continue the, the only trouble here of course unimproved on the turn how often do we expect Zhang to check back to us and this sort of methodical assembly of chips before the deployment And yet he will make the call again. Over 10% of his remaining stack on the turn. Over 1 million in the middle now. Impossible to blame Pickett for his navigations thus oh. far. And a troublesome card for him on the end, albeit a club. Well, looks like he's cutting out a pot-sized bet. I mean... Love this. If it comes in pot-sized plus, Nick, you know what that does to folks. It makes them wonder why so much. If Zhang can have 8-6 suited, he can have 9-7, 10-7, so on. And Pickett is aware this does pay it off. Bravo, sir. Mr. Aaron Zhang, value betting the 8. Flop. By the These way, two meet again. Might we refer to Ace Deuce as oh. Peking Duck? <laughs> <laughs> Given that there is no better Deuce to have in the deck. And a nice flop for Dan and a very representable type board. I really like this flop, Nassian. <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Smith. Here we go. Top pair. And yeah. Comes with call. Yeah. That does seal it. Certainly capable of multi-barreling, and here he is, handing over 225,000. A confused flush draw. He's trying to extend rope to Aaron. 950 in the middle. By the way, the two have history. Yeah. Uh, Much history, and he does hit the queen, which might. We've seen Zhang go very thin for value, but maybe that card saves Aaron, if you will. Let's see. He does oh, put him wow. in, Ali. 
Got anything to say? What? Do you have anything to say? I have anything to say? You like to talk a lot. You like to talk to me? Okay. What yeah. do you think I have? What I think you have? Yeah. I don't think I can see the cars, you know. Yeah. I just see the jaws. Can I see that? I can see the cars, right? I can see, can I see the jaws? Like flush draw street, can I see that? I, I don't see the cards, like numbers, I won't say it. Can I? Five, nine. I'm sorry, I'm not he's asking if he's allowed to talk about the hand. Call. Call. <coughs> oh. nice Does make the call. Wow. That's a winner there. And you wonder how much of his decision to Zang call. Zang will be forced to show. Let's just see. He does show. Dan Smith, that is, was tethered to no, any of the back. response. Back there. Cowboy. Backdoor, as I like to call him. D. Smith, Ali. So good. Uh, Aces open. Over three, three. In front of him. What a situation uh, here. Pay five eight. for me. Yeah, yeah thank you. 1.175. One one also three, looking on, of one course, one with great interest as his two jacks are facing thank his God. four bet to 118. A long time, top class professional. Deep in the main. It does come with the call, so here we are. Can't be comfortable. But the call is made. 2.125 in the middle, 725 rather. This comes to the delight of one Dan Smith, who has a customer in the absolute nuts. I think Dan's going to come with something in the 20%. All in. Look, oh, with Jam. Really just trying to get Jacks through Kings to put it in. Ramsey's out. Best hand winner. He was probably out against any size. No. And, and I think appreciate sort of the sporting competitive dynamic that yes, has emerged. Yes, indeed. 10-6 Trey Rainbow. Smith improving to a pair. Check. Has position and the action check to him. Some caramel corn apparently being enjoyed there on the rail. Check. Wouldn't mind the sleeve of that back here in the booth. Bet two, three, five. Comes with 235, and for Dan, a decision. Comes with the call. So another 470 slides into the middle. Smith, not going to give any sort of instant credit. Oh, man. To what Zang. What card that is for Dan, and what card for Dan. Will Zang yeah. come with the check? He does indeed come with the check. This is nasty. Smith with a mandatory value bet. At 600,000. Half pot, the sizing from Dan Smith, and we know it's not going to stay that way for long. Marley and Spraggy are nicer than the back. They're back. I wonder where they went. Two point two two five slid out. On the river, he made the aces up. Zhang with a grimy check. He does call. You guys check right. We'll see the bad news. <laughs> and then the raise. 600 up to 2.23 and Smith. Zhang back up to just south of 10 million and a tremendous hit to Smith's stack. On the open ender on a queen jack deuce board where Turner is flop top pair, top kick, back door spades. Players like this always seem, you know, they play more hands and so on. Of course, a, a rather elementary defend. Note the check back there from Turner really going for the induction. Zhang slides into third pair. Check. Got 275,000. Tell you what, Ali. I've seen a lot in my day, you know. Been around the game for a long time. Two card, that is. This kid right here, this is a tough night out in a situation like this. This kid right here 
Eventually, oh God, man. you get mauled. You got to leave that one alone. Very nice from Turner. It felt like he was kind of gonna live with it. And for Zhang, some pot odds, some you know calculations. Perhaps we have to fold if we're Zhang. However, we are ahead of the flush draws with the nine. We have the open ender. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Fair play, sir. Guys, this is a general note for the entire table. Like, this is like, what was in say? Four minutes in, and you played four hands. Yeah. This is like the slowest table I've ever played. As we look at the current payout, here in day five, drawing the curtain with 123 players remaining, 62-5, before we go to 73-1, once we break the 99-player barrier en route to so awarding that kind 10 of, million. That kind of jungle theme music that was going just a moment ago, strong. Apropos. Well, the party's over for the time being, but we certainly hope you enjoyed tonight's coverage of what has been a wildly entertaining 2022 main event. More of it to come tomorrow. Don't miss our coverage. In the meantime, on behalf of our entire crew here in Las Vegas and my partner Nick Shulman, I'm Ali Najad saying hasta mañana.